dear students welcome to this session in today's class i will be discussing on another type of differential equation namely exact differential equation so first of all let us understand what is meant by exact differential equation exact differential equation is a differential equation a differential equation of the form a differential equation of the form y a function of x and y dx plus y function of x and y dy is equal to 0 is said to be is said to be exact differential equation or exact yes the left hand side of this equation call this as equation number 1 If the left hand, left hand side of one is a differential, is a differential of some function of. some function u of x comma u of x comma if the lhs of 1 can be expressed as differential of some function u of x comma y then we say that this differential equation is exact okay. that is that is du is equal to y a function of x y are usually we write y dx dx plus n dy where n is a function of x and y equal to 0 so l h s is expressed as du uh, therefore du is equal to 0 and its solution is by integrating p of time so its solution its solution is u is equal to c but u is function of x and y so u of x comma y is equal to c this is obtained on integration by integrating you obtain this solution so this is the solution of this differential equation if this can be expressed as differential of some function u of x comma y so for example for example for example consider consider x into dy plus y into dx equal to 0 so here m is x n is y and this can be written as this can be written as this can be written written as differential of x into y differential of x into y like product rule u into v x into dy differential of y plus y into differential of x equal to v so on integration its solution on integration we obtain the solution on integration on integrating integrating we obtain integrating we work that the solution of this differential equation obtain the solution solution x into y is equal to c it is equal to c x into y is equal to c so given any differential equation to verify Whether it is exact or not, 
we imply the result of this theorem. The theorem states that Y square 
minus 3y square minus 3y square dy equal to 0. So as you see this, this is exactly of the form m dx plus n dy equal to 0, where m is this and n is this. The solution part, solution, the given differential equation, given, given differential equation, differential equation is y square e power x into y square plus 4 into x cube dx plus 2 into x y e power x into y square minus 3 y square dy equal to zero. So this is of the form. This is of the form. This is of the form of the form. Yeah, dx where m is function of x and y plus n dy equal to zero. So let me identify this m and n. So here m is y square e power x into y square plus 4 into x cube then n is 2xy 2 into xy e power x into y square minus 3 y square. So now I have identified m and n. Now I have to check whether partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. So differentiate m partially with respect to y. Remember m with respect to y partially we have to differentiate and partially we have to differentiate n with respect to n with respect to x and then see whether they are equal or not. If they are equal, the given differential equation is exact. Otherwise, the given differential equation is not exact, cannot be solved by the formula what we have, I have already mentioned. Okay, so dou m by dou y. So now, uh, y is there in both the terms. So we have to apply product. So first, let me differentiate to y square. So this is 2y into e power x into y square plus y square. Now, with respect to y, x is constant. Eh? x is constant. I differentiated this 2y with respect to y, keeping this as constant, plus I have y square. Now, I have to differentiate this partially with respect to y. With respect to y, x is constant. x is constant. So, this is uh, e power x into y square into differentiation of x into y square that is 2 into x into 1 2 into x into 1 that is 2y into x okay then similarly n with respect to x again we have product of two functions of x here so with respect to x 2 into y is constant right? y is constant here so I will uh, take 2y outside then this into now x into e power x y square I have to differentiate partially with respect to x. So 1 into e power x into y square differentiation of x is 1 into this plus with respect to x 2y are already taken outside now this product is x into this differentiation of x is 1 so 1 into e power x y square now x into differentiation of e power x y square y is constant with respect to x. So this is e power uh, x into y square. So y is constant. So into y square. Into y square. Okay. So now let me simplify this. 
So this is going to be so with respect to y, 4x cube is zero. That's why that term is not written here. It is zero. And here also, with respect to x, 3y square is purely function of y, so it is zero. So, so that is not written here. Then so, we just observe these two equations. So this is. 2y e power x into y or x into y square you can take outside e power x into y square into 2y plus 2x y cube plus 2x y cube e power x into y square so 2y plus 2x y square into y y cube and similarly, uh, this is equal to e power x into y square. Uh, <coughs> so 2y into 1 plus x into y square e power x y square. And if you multiply it by 2y, so this is 2y plus 2 into x y cube into e power x into y square. So dou m by dou y is e power x y square into 2y plus 2x y cube. Dou n by dou x also e power x y square into 2y plus 2x into y cube. So they are equal. So therefore, so call this as 2, we call this as 1, this is 3. So from 2 and 3, from equation 2 and 3, dou n by dou y is exactly equal to dou n by dou x. So each quantity is equal to 2 into y plus 2x y cube into e power x into y square. So this shows that the given differential equation 1 is exact. So this shows that this shows that the given Differential equation, differential equation one is exact. Differential equation one is exact. And then its solution, and its solution, and hence. Its solution is given by is given by given by integral m dx keeping y constant keeping y constant plus terms terms of n not containing not containing gas with respect to y is equal to internal constant C. Now let me substitute m and n as for this specification, my m is y square e power x into y square plus 4 into x cube dx keeping y constant plus terms of n not containing x so 
So n as the second term without having x term. So minus 3y square dy is equal to 0. n has only one term free from x that is minus 3y square. Now let us uh, integrate this keeping y constant here. So y square is constant here also y square is constant here. So constant is y square here into integration of e power x y square where y square is constant eh, is e power x y square divided by y square. So e power x into y square divided by y square plus 4 into x power 4 divided by 4. Integration of x cube x power 4 by 4 then minus 3 integration of y square is y cube divided by 3 is equal to c. So I can cancel this y square here and I can cancel this 4 and this 3. So therefore so therefore we are left with e power x into y square plus x power 4 x power 4 minus y cube is equal to some internal constant c. So, which is the required solution of the given differential equation? Which is the which is the required solution of the given differential equation? So let me consider another example. Here, m is y into 1 plus 
1 by x plus cos y and n is x plus log x minus x into x into sin. So let me differentiate m partially with respect to y to verify whether dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou y. Okay. So dou m by dou y. So with respect to y, x is constant. So 1 plus x is constant. So I get 1 plus 1 by x. Uh, differentiation of cos y partially with respect to y is sin y. Is sin then similarly, differentiate n partially with respect to x. So dou n by dou x, dou n by dou x is equal to differentiation of x is 1, log x is 1 divided by x minus sin y is constant with respect to x. So minus 1 into sin y, so minus sin y. So this shows that this shows that dou n by dou y is exactly equal to dou n by dou x and both are equal to 1 plus 1 by x minus psi y. So therefore, 1 is exact differential equation exact differential equation equation and its solution and hence its solution its solution is given by its solution is integral m dx keeping y constant keeping y constant plus times times of n not containing not containing x dy is equal to c. Now let me substitute m and n here. Yeah. So therefore, integral m is y into 1 plus 1 by x plus cos y dx keeping y constant keeping y constant plus terms of n not containing x all the terms contain x so 0 dy is equal to c okay. so let me integrate keeping y constant so y is constant integration so I am trying to y as it is Integration of 1 with respect to x, that is x, y into x plus integration of 1 by x is log x, log x, then integration of cos y with respect to x, cos y is constant, so plus x into cos y, x into cos y plus 0 is equal to c. Therefore, y into x plus log x plus x cos y is equal to c is the required solution of the given differential equation, which is the which is the required 
solution of the given differential equation. The given differential equation. We can conclude that this is the if possible we can simplify if there is no possibility of simplification so we can take that expression as the uh, solution of the given differential equation so let me consider another example example 3 dy by dx is equal to y cos x y cos x plus sin y plus sin y plus y plus y divided by so this is plus dy by dx plus divided by sin x plus x cos y x cos y plus x equal to 0 so this is the problem dy by dx plus y cos x plus sin y plus y divided by sin x plus x cos y plus x equal to 0. Now let me first reduce this to standard form m dx plus m dy equal to 0. So the solution part solution part I will rewrite this as dy by dx is equal to minus y into cos x plus sin y plus y divided by sin x plus x cos y plus x. Now, by cross multiplying, I can write this as sin x plus x cos y x cos y plus x into dy is equal to minus of y cos x plus sin y plus y plus y into now let me rearrange this one let me write take it to the left hand side and write in this form so this becomes plus the y cos x plus sin y plus y dx is plus plus sin x sin x plus x into cos y x into cos y plus x into dy. Now this is exactly in the form so equal to I have taken to the left hand side and then rearranging I get 0 in the right hand side. Now this is of the form m dx plus n dy. So I can identify so this is of the form. So call this as equation number 1 here. So this is of the form. This is of the form. Yam dx plus yam dy equal to 0. So here, here yam is y into cos x 
प्लस साइन वाई प्लस वाई एंड यन इज साइन एक्स प्लस एक्स कॉस वाई प्लस एक्स और लेट मी डिफरेंशिएट यम पार्शियली विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू वाई विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू वाई एक्स इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो कॉस एक्स कॉस एक्स देन हियर विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू वाई प्लस कॉस वाई कॉस वाई प्लस वाई सिमिलर थिंग इफ आई डिफरेंशिएट दिया है पार्शियल विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स I get in uh, by differentiation of sin x is cos x, cos x with respect to x y is constant, so cos x cos y into one, so cos y differentiation of x with respect to x partially is one. So as you see here, do y by do y is cos x plus cos y plus one, which is same as do y by do x is equal to cos x plus cos y plus one. So therefore, they are equal. So this shows that so therefore therefore do y by do y is equal to do y by do x so h is equal to <coughs> cos x plus cos y Plus one. Now this shows that the differential equation one is exact. This shows that the equation one, that is differential equation, given differential equation one, is exact. And its solution <coughs> and its solution. And its solution is, and its solution is, integration of y with respect to x, keeping y constant, keeping y constant, plus terms of y, plus integration of terms. Of y not containing x, not containing y, then integrate this with respect to y is equal to some integral constant. Now let me substitute m and n here. <coughs> so we substitute. So therefore, m is y cos x, y cos x. Plus sine y plus y with respect to y x keeping y constant keeping y constant plus terms of y not containing x all the terms containing x is sine x x is there x is there and x is there so zero dy is equal to that constant c. Now let me integrate. Let me integrate. Give me y constant. Eh? Integration of cos x is sin x, so y is constant. Integration of sin cos x is plus sin x. Then sin y is constant as well as y is constant. So this is equal to x into sin y plus x into y are simply sin y. Plus y, both are constant. So sin y plus y is also constant with respect to x. So therefore, sin y plus y into x plus zero is equal to c. So therefore, we can conclude that y into sin x plus x into sin y plus y is equal to c is the required solution of the given differential equation. Wow.
which is the required. So I can conclude like this, which is the required. Required, which is the required solution. Required solution of the differential equation are simply equation one. That is given differential equation. So one is the given differential equation. But okay, so let me consider another problem. Another problem. Fourth problem. Solve. Five. X power four. Plus three. X square y square minus 2x y cube dx plus 2x cube y 2 x cube y two x cube y minus 3 x square y square 3 x square y square minus 5 y power 4 y power 4 into dy is equal to 0. Now this is already given the standard form mdx plus ndy equal to 0. So in the solution part The given differential equation, the given differential equation, equation is five x power four plus three x square y square minus 2 x into y cube dx plus 2 x cube y minus 3 x square y square minus 5 y power 4 dy equal to 0. So call this as equation 1. So why equation 1 is of the form, this is of the form, this is of the form, of the form, yam, a function of x and y, or simply you can write m dx plus n dy equal to 0. So what are m and n here? here. M yeah, is equal to M yeah, is equal to 5 into x power 4 plus 3 x square y square minus 2 into x into y cube and similarly M yeah, is 2 into x cube into y minus 3 x square y square x square y square minus 5 y power 4 minus 5 y power 4 okay. Now let me differentiate yam partially with respect to y. With respect to y, x is constant. So this is 0. So here we get 6 x square into y. 6 x square 
into y and here minus 6xy square minus 6x into y square so y cube differentiation with respect to y partially 3y square 3 into 2 is 6xy square similarly here partial differentiation of y square is 2y 6x square y 6x square y. Now similarly partial differentiation of n with respect to x is with respect to x y is constant so this is 6 x square into y and here minus with respect to x again y square is constant 3 is constant so minus 6 x into y square and this is purely a function of y with respect to x it is 0 similarly in the case of m, purely a function of x with respect to y it is 0, it is not written here. So now, as you can see here, 6x squared y minus 6xy square is equal to dou by dou n, dou, dou n by dou x also. So therefore, these two are equal. So therefore, dou n by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x. So both are equal to 6 into x squared y minus 6 into x into y squared. Now this shows that this shows that the equation 1, the given differential equation, given differential equation 1, this equation is exact is exact and its a solution and its solution is integral m dx keeping y constant keeping y constant plus terms of f terms of n not containing x not containing x with respect to y is equal to c. Now let me substitute m and n in this and obtain the required solution of the given problem. So let me substitute m here. So m is 6x square into 1. Uh, m is 5x power 4. 5x power 4 plus 3x square y square 3 x square y square minus 2x y cube dx keeping y constant keeping y constant plus terms of n not containing not containing x with respect to y is equal to c. Terms of f so, uh, substitute yes. So terms of f not containing x is minus 5 minus 5 y power 4 dy is equal to c. So we have to write only the terms not containing x as per the given problem n as only the last term minus 5 y to y power 4 which is free from f so that must be written here now keeping y constant here we try to integrate so this is 5 is constant integration of x power 4 x power 5 divided by 5 plus 3 into y square Integration of x square, x cube divided by 3, 
minus 2 into y cube is constant with respect to x. Eh? Then this is x square divided by 2 minus 5. Integration of y power 4 with respect to y is y power 5 divided by 5 is equal to c. So I can cancel uh, 3, 3x, y, 5, x. Then we have that with x power 5 minus x cube y square x cube y square and here minus this is plus sorry, plus x cube y square minus x square y cube minus y power 5 is equal to c is the required solution of the given differential equation which is required which is the required solution of the given differential equation one we have discussed so far is the a differential equation which is exact. There are some differential equations. Initially they are not exact but later becomes exact by multiplication of the given differential equation by a suitable integrating factors. So this is the differential equation reducible to exact differential equations. There are uh, several cases depending on the nature of the differential equation. Integral uh, <coughs> integrating factor is defined in your first year BA course only two cases have been discussed to, ident to find out the integrating factor which on multiplying the given differential equation which is initially not exact becomes exact from thereafter solution can be determined very very easily. So that is our next topic for discussion. Equations reducible to exact. Equations, the next topic in continuation to this exact differential equation is equations reducible, reducible to exact equations, to exact equations. equations reducible to exact equations. Differential equations which are not exact, differential equations which are not exact, which are not exact can be reduced can be reduced to exact differential equation to exact differential can be reduced to exact differential equation by, by a suitable multiplication by suitable 
multiplication suitable multiplication of integrating factor of integrating factor if the right if for integrating factor to the given differential equation to the given differential equation to the given differential equation as i told you <coughs> there are different cases depending on the type of differential equation only two cases have been prescribed in your core in the syllabus so those two cases are the following in the equation in the equation uh, m dx that is m of x comma y dx plus m of x comma y dy equal to 0 that is m dx plus m dy equal to 0 1 yes yeah. do m by do y do m by do y minus do n by do x divided by n we have function of x only so when we evaluate this and we simplify this if this turns out to be a function of x only or terms having only x terms we a function we a function of x on the uh, say f of x say f of x f of x say f of x then then integrating factor if is e power integral f of x dx f of x dx uh, this is integrating factor. If this integrating factor is multiplied to this equation, then the equation becomes exact. Okay. The second case, second case is if do n by do x, do n by do x minus do m by do y divided by m. be a function of y only be a function be a function of y only say g of y g of y then then integrating factor if is equal to integrating factor if is equal to e power integral g of y d1 now this is the these are the two cases <coughs> prescribed in your syllabus now let us solve uh, equations which are initially not exact but after multiplication by a suitable integrating factor particularly falling into these two category as per your syllabus, the differential equation becomes exact and once it is exact, we know the solution of the exact differential equation that is integration of m dx keeping y constant plus terms of n not containing x dy is equal to c. Then let us solve uh, some of the problems here. Uh, 
But again, look at this problem. Okay. Solve. Solve. X square plus Y square plus X dx plus x into y dy is equal to z. Okay. Now first what I will do, I will check for exactness. If it is exact, I will solve directly. If it is not exact, then I will see which integrating factor is required to make this differential equation exact. Now, the given differential equation, the given differential equation, equation is x square plus y square plus x dx plus x into y dy equal to 0. Now, as usual, I will just proceed. Now, this is of the form. So, here, yeah, let me consider that this is of the form. Of the form. Yam dx plus yam dy equal to zero. Yam dx plus yam dy equal to zero. So here, yam, here, here, yam is x square plus y square plus x and n is x into 1. Now let me check for exactness here. Dou m by dou y is 2 into y dou n by dou x is uh, with respect to x y. 2y is not equal to y. <coughs> so therefore, so therefore dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x. So therefore, the given differential equation is not exact. So therefore, the given, the given differential equation, differential equation is not exact, is not exact. That means we cannot further continue. So let me uh, <coughs> find the suitable integrating factor and multiply the same to this equation 1 to make 1 exact. Now consider, well let me consider uh, the two cases. I will arbitrarily start from one of the cases because I don't know which case will give you a suitable integrating factor. So let me consider, consider, consider dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x divided by n divided by n. So this is equal to dou m by dou y is 2 y 2 y minus dou n by dou x is y divided by n. n is x into y. So this is y divided by x into y or this is 1 by x. Let us say this is equal to a function. A function of x only. Function of x only. Function of x only. So therefore, this falls into the first case as per our discussion. Now, let me find out the integrating factor because I am getting <coughs> only 
a function of x that is 1 by x. So integrating factor when it is only a function of x for this ratio dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x divided by n. If I get function of x then integrating factor is e power integral fx dx. Okay. Now I know what is f of x so e power integral f of x is 1 by x dx that is dx by x so e power log x e power log x which is equal to x. So integrating factor is x. Therefore integrating factor is x. Now let me multiply this integrating factor x to this equation 1. So multiply y that is given differential equation multiply multiply 1 by integrating factor x. So I get x cube plus x into y square plus x square dx plus x square y dy is equal to 0. We call this as equation number. Let us check whether this equation number 2 after multiplying by the inter uh, integrating constant becomes exact r. If we do not make any mistake, this will be an exact differential equation. So here, let me reconsider again that m1 be this is also of the form m dx plus n dy equal to 0. Since I have already used m here, I will just differentiate with that m and write m1. m1 is x cube plus x y square plus x square and n1 is x square into x square into x square into 1. Now let me differentiate as I will repeat all the steps here. Differentiate partially m1 with respect to y as usual. Here y, here also y. With respect to y x is constant. So this is 2 into x into y. And similarly differentiate n1 partially with respect to x. So this is y is constant here 2x into y. So therefore dou m1 by dou y is equal to dou n1 by dou x both are equal to 2 into x into y. So this shows that equation 2 is exact. So this shows that this shows that this shows that equation 2 obtained after multiplying by the integrating factor is exact is exact and it's a solution and its a solution is integration of m1 with respect to x keeping y constant keeping y constant plus terms of n1 not containing not containing x dy is equal to c. Now let me substitute m1 and n1 free from x. m1 is x cube x cube plus x into y square plus x square x square dx keeping y constant keeping y constant plus terms of n 
not n one, not containing x. There is only one term. It is multiplied by. It is x squared into y. So y is multiplied to x squared. So there are no terms, the zero terms, with respect to y is equal to c. Now let me integrate with respect to x, keeping y constant. So this is x power 4 divided by 4 plus y square is constant. So I'll write in okay, x integration of x, x square by 2 into y square plus integration of x square x cube by 3 0 integrand is 0 so integral is 0 is equal to c so plus 0 is equal to c okay. so now just uh, try to simplify this so simplification is not cause but so I will just write as it is which is the required solution of the given differential equation x power 4 by 4 plus x square y square divided by 2 plus x cube divided by 3 is equal to 3 c is the required solution of the given differential equation which is the required solution which is the required required solution solution of the given differential equation one. So with this I will conclude my today's class and continue the remaining topics in my next classes. Thank you.